Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about what is source control and what are the foundational practices of DevOps. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this AZ400 Microsoft Certified Azure DevOps Engineer Certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So what is source control? DevOps has been an emerging trend in software development world for the past several years. While the term may be relatively new, it is really convergence of a number of practices that have been evolving for decades. DevOps is a revolutionary way to release software quickly and efficiently while maintaining a high level of security. While it has proven to be the wave of the future, many still have yet to hope on board the DevOps train. Let's be honest, version control isn't exactly a topic you would bring up at the dinner party to spice up the conversation. Managing file versions and meticulously reviewing code for errors can be a dull subject. In fact, it rarely makes the headlines. Even in the software development news, where there are far more exciting trends to cover than AI or data science, etc. But much like no one really talks about putting a clean socks in the morning, setting an alarm at night or looking both ways before crossing the street, version control is an essential everyday practice. Versioning is a common part of developer's routine and if leveraged correctly, can save organization enormous cost and resources. Though version control is today a common sense aspect of programming, it is important from time to time to look at why do what we do and how versioning impacts the entire value stream at an organization. Now let's look at what is source control. Source control or version control is the practice of tracking and managing changes to code. Source control management or SEM systems provide a running history of code development and help to resolve conflicts when merging contributions from multiple sources. For most software teams, the source code is a repository of the invaluable knowledge and understanding about the problem domain that the developers have collected and refined through careful effort. Version control protects source code from both catastrophe and casual degradation of human error and unintended consequences. Without version control, you are tempted to keep multiple copies of your code on your computer. This is dangerous. It's easy to change or delete a file in the wrong copy of code, potentially losing the work. Version control systems solve this problem by managing all versions of your code by presenting you with a single version at a time. Before we dive into details of source control, let me clarify some of the common goals for software teams. The first one is reusability. Why do the same thing twice? Reuse of code is a common practice and makes building on existing assets simpler. Second value is traceability. Audits are not just for fun. In many industries, this is a legal matter. All activity must be traced and managers must be able to produce reports when needed. Traceability also makes debugging and identifying root cause earlier. Additionally, this will help with feature reuse as developers can link requirements to implementation. Next value is manageability. Can team leaders define and enforce workflows, review rules, create quality gates and enforce QA throughout the life cycle. Another value is efficiency. Are we using the right resources for the job and are we minimizing time and efforts? This one is pretty self-explanatory. Another value is collaboration. When teams work together, quality tends to improve. We catch one another's mistakes and can build on each other's strengths. Last value is learning. Organizations benefit when they invest employees learning and growing. This is not only important for onboarding new team members, but for the lifelong learning of seasoned members and the opportunity for workers to contribute not just to the bottom line, but to the industry as the whole. So tools and processes are not enough to accomplish 
the values hence the adoption of agile continuous integration and devops believe it or not all of these rely on solid version control practice and version control is about keeping track of every change to software assets tracking and managing the who what and when let's look at the foundational practices of devops in the effort to eliminate the enigma that comes with new business practice the 2019 state of devops report highlights version control in almost all stages of devops evolution also it's helpful for non developers at an organization to understand the fundamental of a principle that is so deeply rooted in the daily life of a software engineer especially if those individuals are making decisions about which version control tools and platforms to use and version control is very important for all software development projects and is particularly vital at large business and enterprise enterprises have many stakeholders distributed teams strict processes and workflows siloed organization and hierarchical organizations etc all of those characteristics represent coordination and integration challenges when it comes to merging and deploying code even more so in companies within high regulated industries such as in banking and healthcare with many rules and regulations need a practical way to ensure that all standards are being met appropriately and risk is mitigated now let's understand the benefits of source control code doesn't exist unless it's committed into source control and source control is the fundamental enabler of continuous delivery whether you are writing code professionally or personally you should always version your code using a source control management system so let me tell you some of the advantages of using source control the first one is it will help you create workflows version control workflow prevent the chaos of everyone using their own development process with different and incompatible tools and version control systems provide process enforcement and permissions okay. so everyone stays on the same page second benefit is work with versions every version has a description in the form of a comment these descriptions help you follow changes in your code by version instead of by individual file changes and code stored in version can be viewed and restored from a version control at any time as needed this makes it easy to base new work of any version of code another advantage is collaboration version control synchronizes versions and make sure that your changes doesn't conflict with other changes from your team your team relies on version control to help resolve and prevent conflicts even when people make changes at the same time another advantage is it maintains history of changes version control keeps a history of changes as your team saves new version of your code this history can be reviewed to find out who why and when changes were made and history gives you the confidence to experiment since you can roll out to a previous good version at any time and history lets you base work from any version of code such as fix a bug in a previous release and another advantage is automate task version control automation features save your team time and generate consistent results automate testing code analysis and deployment when new versions are saved to version control now let's look at some of the best practices for source control the first one is you can make small changes in other words you can commit early and commit often of course be careful not to commit any unfinished work that could break the build second best practice is don't commit personal files these could include application settings or ssh keys often these are committed accidentally but cause problems later down the line when other team members are working on the same code third best practice is update often and write before pushing to avoid merge conflicts another best practice is verify your code change before pushing it to a repository ensures it complies and tests are passing pay close attention to commit messages 
as these will tell you why a change was made. So consider commit messages as a mini form of documentation for the change. The next one is you can link code changes to work items. This will concretely link what was created to why it was created or changed by providing traceability across requirements and code changes. And the last one is no matter your background or preferences, be a team player and follow agreed conventions and workflows. So consistency is very important and helps ensure quality making it easier for team members to pick up where you left off, to review your code, to debug, etc. Using version control of some kind is necessary for any organization and following the guidelines can help developers avoid needless time spent fixing errors and mistakes. These practices also help organizations reap greater benefits from having a good version control system. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn different types of source control systems. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.